Hello everybody, this is Manuel at Manuel Martel Photography. This is another P-series tutorial. And today I will be talking about lens distortion and how to fix it in Lightroom CC. So this picture was taken in Bali. This is one of the famous temple uh, out there. They have those tall buildings, which are just super nice. And um, I shot this with my wide angle. It's a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter f 2.8. So I was uh, shooting at 11 millimeters. And as you can see, the tall buildings up front are now curving inside. So that lens create a big distortion problem when you shoot at 11 millimeters. So Lightroom came with uh, a few new features in the last few uh, updates and some are very nice. Um, if you scroll down here you'll find the lens correction tab. Um, so if you go to profile here and you press enable profile correction so you'll find all these lenses in there. So basically that's what I meant about the updates. Most lenses are now in there. So basically you choose the mark, make, sorry, of your lens, the model, and then boom, it just changed already. So if you take a look, there's a little bit of a change, nothing too crazy at the moment, but still it's, it's, it's a, somewhere to start. And then the amount at the bottom here, you can actually uh, change the amount a little bit. So as you can see, when I change the distortion, it plays uh, like a big role in the edge of the picture and not so much in the middle. So you can go all the way in like this, like our foreground, the line looks kind of straight, but the building are still curving inside. So in some cases, uh, choosing the profile correction will work for you, but in some cases it won't, like in this specific case, because those tall buildings are kind of like more in the picture in the middle of the picture rather than on the edge so what I would recommend is go to the manual tab here and then you can really really uh, make a big difference so if you go into distortion and if you, you'll see I'll go extreme one way to the other uh, you can see a little bit of difference but if you kind of like juggle around a bit and find like a good place about here for me plus 40 the vertical it will kind of shift your image back and forth like this and then if I go down to about minus 40 or so then my building are straight so I was actually able to change that with the distortion and the vertical um, if I keep going with the uh, the other option here I'm just gonna play with it a bit to give you guys an idea what they do uh, you know horizontal will go from side to side like this which doesn't help me at all rotation will rotate one side or the other scale, zoom in, zoom out type of idea and the aspect you will be either stretching in or stretching out. Okay, so I'll keep all these uh, zero. So now I'm building our straight but then I have this very very uh, odd line in front of my building. So if I go back to my profile, take this out that's kind of helping me a little bit. You can still play with your profile and find something that actually worked for you, but I'll definitely put this in maybe and bring it in and see what the difference is. And it's pretty much better that way. Now we kind of solve a bit the problem here. We're gonna go and crop the image. If you grab any corner, hold shift, you will keep the ratio of your image. So you won't crop too much uh, one way or the other. So. If I go and take a look like this, it looks straight. I still have this line in the bottom that's kind of, I don't like too much. So what I'll do is I'll just grab the bottom line, bring it up just a notch, press OK. Here it is. We dealt with the distortion problem in within Lightroom. So we didn't have to go to Photoshop to do something uh, super advanced. Uh, Lightroom have this great feature, lens correction and I highly recommend that you guys learn how to use a manual mode. So hopefully this is useful, you learn something, a quick tool to work with in the future, and stay tuned for more videos. This is Manuel, see you next time.